Good morning, students. Welcome to Mathematics subject. Today we are going to start with a new chapter, chapter number sixteen, surface area and volume. In this chapter, we'll study about cuboid, cube, and cylinder. Now, student, before starting, let's learn what is surface area. You have learned in your previous uh, lesson what is area. Area means the uh, space occupied by the object. Now, in that case, in area we have studied about two-dimensional objects like rectangle, square, circle. These are two-dimensional objects. Now, for surface area, we need three-dimensional object. So, what is surface area? The area occupied by three-dimensional object by its outer surface is called surface. Area. It is measured in square units. Now, student, what is three-dimensional object? Three-dimensional object examples are cuboid, cube, cylinder, sphere, etc. Okay. Now, in your syllabus, we'll learn about cuboid, cube, and cylinder. These are three-dimensional object where you have length. Breadth and height. Okay, so now volume. What is volume? The measure of space occupied by a solid is called the volume of the solid. It is measured in cubic units. Okay. Now, student, you will come with the keyword like total surface area. Now, what is total surface area? Total surface area refers to the area including the base and the curved part. It is the total area covered by the surface of the object. So it is known as total surface area. You will come with the word like curved surface area or lateral surface area. So what it means? Curved surface area refers to to the area of only the curved part of the shape excluding its base that is what is curved surface area now student let's learn more about cuboid as you know cuboid is made up of six surfaces each surface is rectangle few example of cuboid is bricks matchbox fish tank now student if you see it has bricks it has six surface 1 2 3 below is 4 behind 5 and back side 6 so this is six surface where each surface is rectangle can you see if you see one part see first front part it is in the shape of rectangle upper part if you see it is in shape of rectangle so each surface is rectangle can you see matchbox each surface is rectangle like that it is made up of six surface that is one front behind back top three below four and side five and six okay so these are example of cuboid now to find the total surface area means the outer area total all the six faces which is there that is six surfaces we have to find area of all the six surface that is what is total surface area so formula for total surface area of cuboid equal to 2 in bracket length into breadth i have given initial letters for length and b for breadth so length into breadth plus breadth into height plus height into length this is the total surface area of cuboid formula. Now, volume of cuboid if you want to find. So, the formula is length into breadth into height. Now, cube. Cube is made up of six surfaces. It is also made up of six surfaces. Each surface is square. In cuboid, each surface is rectangle. But in cube each surface is square 
so few example of cube is dice you can see all the six faces are in square shaped okay this is one example another example ice cubes it is also cube okay now formula to find total surface area of cube so as it is six face so six and the length that is the length is same it is in the shape of square all six surfaces are square like so you know it is length is same so the formula will be total surface area of cube equal to 6l square and volume of cube equal to l cube that is length into length into length so you can write down l cube okay now student we'll start with our practice set 16.1 now what is given in the first question find the volume of the box if its length breadth and height are 20 cm 10.5 cm and 8 cm respectively so you have to find the volume of the box as you know box is a shape of a cuboid so you have to find the volume so volume of the box will be length into breadth into height so directly you have to substitute in the formula so student will write down like that solution length of a box l i have given length as l equal to 20 cm breadth of the box b equal to 10.5 cm and height of the box h equal to 8 cm this is given therefore volume of the box equal to length into breadth into height please do write the formula as it carries marks so volume of the box equal to length into breadth into height so you will just substitute the values of length breadth and height that is equal to 20 into 10.5 into 8 so you will multiply that is 20 into 8 you'll get 160 into 10.5 so we'll get student 1680 that is 1680 cubic centimeter now the unit is also compulsory to write so you can write centimeter cube or you can write like that also cubic centimeter you know volume is always the unit is in cubic units and area is always in square units so we have to find your volume so the unit will be cubic centimeter so final answer you'll write down therefore volume of the box is 1680 cubic centimeter now student moving to the second question what is given a cuboid shaped soap bar has volume 150 cubic centimeter here in the question you can see the volume is given of a cuboid shaped soap bar that is 150 cm uh, cubic cm find its thickness thickness means breadth so find its thickness if its length is 10 cm sorry the uh, thickness means the height so find its thickness if its length is 10 cm and breadth is 5 cm so student here you have to find the thickness means height you have to find so same you'll use the formula and you'll just substitute and find out the height so solution volume of cuboid shaped soap bar equal to 150 cubic centimeter length of the soap bar that is l equal to 10 centimeter breadth of soap bar b equal to 5 centimeter therefore volume of cuboid shaped soap bar equal to length into breadth into height now i'll just substitute so here in the question volume is given so i'll uh, in place of volume i'll write down 150 so i'll write down therefore 150 equal to so length so in place of length student you will write down 10 length is given as 10 so equal to 10 into breadth is given as 5 so i'll write down 5 into height is not given that is thickness we have to find so i'll write down h as it is now if you keep h over here this two numbers that is from right hand side to left hand side if it will come it will divide yeah 10 into 5 will go to denominator so your next step will be student 
therefore h equal to 150 upon 10 into 5 now you can solve student here so i'll show you first i'll cancel 0 0 1 over here cancel okay 0 0 cancel now 1 is there now your 5 is there it can go 15 is remaining on the numerator and 5 denominator we can cancel so 5 ones are 5 and 15 is there so 5 threes are 15 so you'll get student height is equal to 3 okay therefore h is equal to 3 centimeter so final answer I'll write down thickness of the soap bar is 3 centimeter okay moving to the next sum what is given how many bricks of length 25 centimeter breadth 15 centimeter and height 10 centimeter are required to build a wall of length 6 meter 2.5 meter and breadth 0 0.5 meter now student here we have the question is you need to know the number of bricks the bricks length given is 25 uh, length is 25 breadth is 15 and height is 10 and you have to build a wall of length 6 meter then height 2.5 meter and breadth 0 0.5 meter you need to build so how many bricks will be required so first in solution what is given let's write down for bricks length l is given 25 centimeter breadth equal to b equal to 15 centimeter and height given is 10 centimeter now for wall the length given is 6 meter so length of the wall i have initiated here l1 so we will not get confused for bricks length and wall length so length of wall l1 equal to 6 meter but student can you see here the unit is given in centimeter and here it is meter so let's first convert this into centimeter make it in same unit okay so you know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so 6 meter equal to 600 centimeter okay so 6 meter equal to 600 centimeter now breadth b1 equal to 0 0.5 meter is given so now if you multiply into 100 so it will become 50 centimeter then height given is 2.5 meter so you will multiply so you will get 250 centimeter okay now student so to find number of bricks so the formula is the volume of the wall upon the volume of bricks then only we will come to know how many bricks will be required so therefore number of bricks required to build the wall equal to you will use this formula volume of the wall upon volume of the bricks okay now volume of the wall you know volume of the wall means volume of the cuboid so length into breadth into height so for wall we have given l1 into b1 into h1 so i'll write down that is equal to l1 into b1 into h1 upon volume of bricks so length breadth and height into so length into breadth into height now we'll substitute the values for length breadth and height okay length l1 is 600 into breadth b1 that is 250 into 50 upon length of the bricks is 25 breadth is 15 and height is 10 okay now we'll solve this so we'll simplify now okay so student 1 0 and i've cancelled from 250 the 0 okay now you'll see 25 and 25 this will cancel 25 and this 25 will get cancelled now what is remaining in denominator 15 and here 600 into 50 now you can uh, cancel 600 and 15 you know 15 ones are 15 15 fours are 60 and one zero left so 40 it will become so you'll get 40 into 50 so next step that is equal to 40 into 50 that is equal to 2000 okay so total number of bricks to build the wall will be 2000 so i'll write down final answer 
the number of bricks required to build the wall is 2000 bricks clear now moving to the next question last one of this practice for rain water harvesting a tank of length 10 meter breadth 6 meter and depth 3 meter is built depth means height what is the capacity of the tank and how many liters of water it can hold so it is required to find capacity of the tank capacity means the volume of the tank you have to find and also you have to find how many liters of water it can hold the tank can hold so students let's solve we'll write down length of the tank l given is 10 meter breadth b is given that is 6 meter and depth is given that is height h is equal to 3 meter now student you have to find first one capacity of tank capacity means volume therefore capacity of the tank equal to volume of the tank equal to length into breadth into height we'll just put the formula so we'll put the values for it that is equal to 10 into 6 into 3 now you'll solve you'll multiply 10 into 6 into 3 so 6 3 is 18 18 into 10 180 so you will get 180 cubic meter so here the volume of the tank means the capacity of the tank is 180 cubic meter now our next question in this part is how many liters of water it can hold means we need to find the liters of water now student you have to remember that 1 meter cube that is this is cubic meter or meter cube you can read anyway so 1 cubic meter equal to 1000 liters so 1 meter cube equal to 1000 liters this is conversion you have to learn it so therefore you can get the liters of water that is volume of the tank in liters equal to 180 the volume is 180 so into will multiply by 1000 because 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters so 180 meter cube is equal to that is 180 into 1000 that is 1,80,000 liters so it can hold 1,80,000 liters of water ok so final statement will write down capacity of the tank is 180 meter cube and it can hold 1,80,000 liters of water ok student I hope you got this ok please do complete your book ok we are going to Continue next practice set in our next lecture. Thank you very much.